welcome to Socialism 2008, the final rally. <laughs> Socialism every year is an astounding event. Um, hundreds and hundreds, if not a thousand people came this year, and there are too many people, literally too many people to thank uh, for putting on this event on a shoestring budget. And I would say we would have to probably thank half the people in the audience by name if we were to, in fact, ex describe how many people had a direct hand in making this conference a success. So on behalf of the socialism organizing team, please give yourselves a round of applause. And by way of saving some time today, I think we can safely say that at last night's rally, we did enough to thank all of the international guests and the representatives of all the different struggles that are here participating in the conference. So let's give them a round of applause. However, I'd like to start today uh, with a comrade who is not here today with us. And uh, many of you will know him as Peter Miguel Camejo. And probably many of you uh, have heard him speak at Socialism before. You've seen him on television debating Arnold Schwarzenegger, or you've seen him in the streets fighting for a better world. Peter last year developed cancer, and after a long battle, fought it off. Uh, after a tremendous battle, defeated cancer. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cancer has come back, and now he's in round two. And this is a very difficult struggle. I'm sure that if anybody can beat it back, uh, Peter Camejo can. But we wanted to, I wanted to say a couple words about Peter, because I think that Peter, even though he's not here in person, is here in spirit, in socialist spirit with us today. And I'm sure that he wishes he were here. So I would just like to say a few things about him. First, I think that Peter's participation in socialism and our participation with Peter in the struggle is part of a process about the ISO learning how to develop more allies, to learn from past generations, to learn from other people who have different experiences and come from different traditions. We have a lot to teach, but we also have a lot to learn, and Peter has been a very important part of that process for us. I first met Peter Cameo in 2003, and there's people here today who've known him for far longer. Peter has been in the struggle for 50 years. So I can't say that I'm uh, Peter Cameo's oldest friend, but I am a dear friend nonetheless. When I first met him, it was sort of funny because we met each other, we didn't really know anything about each other, and I sort of had a suspicion that maybe, just maybe, he was a little bit of an opportunist. And I think he had a suspicion that the ISO was maybe just a little bit sectarian. And so we met in this cafe, and we kind of had this conversation where we were like, wow, how'd you get here and what do you do and well that's interesting how you've developed over the years and after about five minutes we happily realized that our preconceptions of each other I think were incorrect and really from the first moment developed I think an extremely important uh, uh, collaboration and and really not only uh, a comradeship but a, but a friendship Peter was, for people who don't know, a leading revolutionary in the 1960s, a fighter in the civil rights movement and in the anti-war movement. And for people who've heard Peter speak, I think it's safe to say that if not the one of the best propagandists for socialist ideas in the latter part of the 20th century. Now, the 80s were tough times for all revolutionaries, and people who went through it as revolutionaries can, can, can say so. Uh, but Peter found a way to be involved and found a way to get back into the thick of the political struggle. Uh, when he ran for governor of California on the Green Party ticket in the year 2002 and got 5% of the vote. The next year, because of the political crisis in California, uh, in the recall election, Peter managed to fight his way into the televised debates. And for the first time, uh, really, that we can remember or we're, we're sure about in American history, a left-wing candidate participated on par with the Democrats and the Republicans. And hands down, people believe that Peter won those debates against Schwarzenegger and the Democratic Party. And then we all know in 2004, Peter took the courageous stand of standing up against the anybody but Bush, Bush wave with Ralph Nader and said, we need to build a political alternative. And John, reporting for duty, Kerry, is not that alternative. We need something better. And if anybody heard Peter speak during those years of 2003 and 2004, you remember one thing about his speeches, which is when people said the Iraqi people do not have the right to resist, Peter, in any forum, uh, in front of any camera, in front of any uh, radio microphone, would say straight 
the, it's right, we'd say the truth, truth straight out, which is that the Iraqi people, without the resources, without an air force, without the tanks, without the guns, they have found a way to resist with their bodies and their li lives against the most brutal occupation in our lifetime, and we owe them a debt of gratitude. So it's been a privilege knowing and working alongside Peter, and we are confident that if anybody can beat this second round of cancer, it is Peter Miguel Camejo. I want to give the last word to him. He said this in 1969 uh, at a uh, socialist convention. He said, the key to victory is moving the masses. Any concept, any struggle that eliminates this will only end in disaster, and there is no shortcut to change the system. And I think that with those words, we welcome Peter Camejo in spirit to Socialism 2008. I want to begin with uh, our shorter list of speakers tonight. Um, we have Alan Moss and Sharon Smith. Uh, for, people who haven't, for, for people who have not seen it yet, you've probably all seen it, but Socialist Worker Print Edition, the first edition in color. And we already thank last night, but Josh and Derek's work as along with Alan and the rest of the SW staff of putting SW, the daily SW online edition, is a tremendous advance. And as Le Leila El Arian said last night, Socialist Worker is one of the few papers, means of, uh, means of communication that tells the truth about what is happening in this country. Socialist Worker today is read by tens of thousands of people. I am fully convinced that it is going to be read by millions in the future. Alan, <clears throat> Alan Moss, the editor of Socialist Worker, I believe has been one of the best kept secrets in journalism in this country, but I think that that is not going to stay the same for long, so I give you Alan Moss. <laughs> 